What's up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a total lower body workout. So all you need is a pair of dumbbells and resistant bands but if you guys don't have those, you guys can always get like a bottle of water or a laundry detergent, anything to help add resistance and stress to your muscles in order to help them grow. So if you guys are doing this at the gym, obviously get some weights that challenge you. If you're doing this at home, get anything that's going to help challenge you. And today for this workout, I am rocking my Fit Girls Unite crop tee in black from my Body by Day apparel line. So if you guys have not checked it out, make sure to go to bodybydayapparel.com. And if you guys have already purchased, make sure you tag me on Instagram and also tag the Body by Day apparel Instagram so I can repost your pictures. I would love to see you guys rocking um, the Fit Girls tee or the Squat Queen, whatever it is that you got from the apparel line tag me in it. But without any further ado, let's get into today's workout. All right, so we're gonna start with some booty activation exercises. So for those of you that have trouble feeling your booty burn when you're doing squats and lunges, try doing some booty activation exercises right before doing your lower body lifts. So my favorite thing to do is doing donkey kicks, about 12 reps each side, and then I do the peeing dog for 12 reps each side. And I do about two to three rounds depending on how you know how much i need to feel it in my booty sometimes even just one round is enough for me so it really depends if you don't feel it the first round try to do a second or then try to do a third round but even just the first round with an xx heavy resistant bands i am dying The first exercise are reverse lunges. So key thing to this with helping with your balance is that left leg that's stationary to the floor, you kind of want to shift your weight towards that leg. So you see when I come up, I'm like barely tapping with my right leg to the floor is because that left leg is really holding that weight. So you want to do the same thing with the opposite leg when you switch to the other leg. And I'm doing 10 reps, three sets of each side. So next are goblet squats. So ideally you want to use a kettlebell, but since we're doing this at home and we don't have all this type of equipment, I'm just using my two five pound dumbbells. The key with goblet squats is you want to make sure you're shoulder width apart. Your back is straight. As you see, my back is straight from my tailbone all the way to the tippy top of my head. It is a straight diagonal line. And that is because my core is tight. I shift back a little bit and then squat down and squeeze. So next is going to be a superset. A superset is doing two exercises back to back and that's going to equal one set. So we're going to be doing hip thrusts. So I'm putting a resistant bands around um, just about an inch above my knees and I'm also going to put a dumbbell on my hips. You can also use a barbell or whatever it is that's going to help with your resistance. So I'm doing 10 reps of glute bridges. So when you come up, you want to squeeze your glutes. It's going to be working your glutes and your hamstrings. It's such a great uh, lower body exercise. So after I'm done with this, we're going to go straight into one legged glute bridge. So you're going to see that in just a tiny little bit. So that's the key with supersets. You do one exercise and you go straight into the next and that's going to equal one set. I know this can be very confusing for a lot of people, but I promise you this is actually very easy and it's going to help with time. If you guys are in crunch with time, supersets are really good for that. So as you can see here, I'm switching to one leg. So now I'm doing 10 reps on one leg and then I'm going to switch over and do 10 reps on the other leg. So this is going to be burning your hamstrings and glutes when you're done with this. I promise you, this is such, such a great lower body exercise. All right, we cannot do a lower body day without doing our calves. So many ladies ask me, how can I get bigger calves? How can I grow my calves? It is super simple, you guys. Weighted calf raises. As you can see here, I don't need to go to the gym to do this. You know, I found a little ledge heading to my bathroom and that's enough for me to do some calf raises because you want to make sure when you come down, you're coming all the way down and then squeezing all the way up when you're uh, tippy toeing on your toes. And then now I'm changing my foot position to make sure I get the outside of my calves. There's three different calf muscles, the out, the middle, and the inner. So you want to hit all three. So I'm doing 10 reps of each and I do them back to back and then I rest. So I do 10 reps, 10 sets. Yes. 
10 reps, 10 sets of each. <laughs> you will be um, crawling when you're done with this. <laughs> and again, I'm here, I'm switching over to the inner of my calf. So yeah, you really don't need much, you guys. You get on the stairs, get a ledge, anyone's gonna help you have that full range of motion and really get on your tippy toes and squeeze that. And of course, add you can add dumbbells, add barbells. Hope you guys enjoyed today's workout. This was a really sweaty, crazy workout. Like my whole lower body is burning right now. Um, if you guys have any questions, you guys know you can always write them in the comments below. Any requests for future videos, write them in the comments below. I will always be here to help you guys. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you guys haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next one.